<laughs> Are we live? No, we just act like just lip sync. Go. Let's see if anybody can hear us. Can anyone hear? No one's watching. Can you hear us, Shea Boogie? <laughs> can anyone hear us now? Tell us if you can hear us. Hello? Hello out there. Someone tell us if you can hear us. No volume. Something's going on. I can hear you. Shea Boogie said I can hear you. Shea Boogie can hear. Wait, can yes. Everyone can hear us? Anybody out there in TV land? Paris said he can hear us. Paris can hear. Okay. Yes. So I don't know what happened, but that was weird. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but I don't know what you missed. The only thing Jenny was saying was about how great of a father I am. I'm the best father in the world. I cook for my child. I get no sleep. I do what I got to do. Uh, you know, no, 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 no. But I was going to say. My path. Okay, no. <laughs> what I was going to say. Why can't I hear you? K Martinez. I can hear you, Jenny. Okay. Uh, see? Okay. okay. No yes. hearing aid. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Can you can you see us though? Paris, can you hear us or not? No. Vic, you, you are the truth. Okay, Paris, yes. thank you. Okay. There you go. You can hear us, right, Paris? Hallelujah, holla back. Paris, tell us if you can hear us. <laughs> okay, now I can hear you. Okay, K Martinez. All right, yes. let's all get it together here let's tonight. Let's get it okay? together. Because I gotta go pick up Max from football because yes. for some reason I've been designated to do that so Vic can get his drink on. And a lot, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I've mm. earned my drink. Yes. Yeah. yeah you okay. just told him. Tell him how, you know, tell him, go back and tell him how great of a father I am. You go are. Okay. Here. So you're. A, I'm the best. Okay. You're a great father. But Absolutely. what I'm trying to say but, is you, know, you can't be tired. Like you can't choose to like keep running and then get so tired that you make everyone else miserable. You can't do that. No, I think the only person that who makes other people miserable is yourself. Uh, no. Okay. Yes, I, absolutely. I agree. So I think that I, I make people miserable. Tell me how. Because you're a control freak. Okay. <gasps> so what? A, what? What is going on here? You absolutely are. So I am. I, I, I am a control. freak. Yes, I know. I what, am. I'm say I know I what my limits are. I know what it takes. You know what I have to do. I've been doing it for a very long time. All right. Even when we weren't together, I've been doing it since I was. Yes, Mr. Cat Two Four Seven. He did say that. What? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm a control doing, freak. Yes, I know. She is. Yes. I'm 150. percent I am a control freak yes. because I would like to have a type. But I'm uncontrollable. That's the problem. That's the thing that she hasn't realized yet. She's a control freak, but I'm uncontrollable. Okay. okay? Uh, so, <laughs> anyway, so I know when what my limits are. So, yes, I did run for three days straight, you know, doing things. And so, and, I, and I chose one day to recoup, which I was doing. And you have a problem whenever I do decide mm -hmm. to recoup because I'm saying, okay, I'm finally done and I need a day to recoup. You try to manage and control my recoupness. <laughs> Is that a word? No, but I just made it up because it sounds good right now. Okay, so I am not going to let you control my recoupness because I know my body. I know myself. The fact that you don't know it, that sounds like an issue that you have to deal with, not me. Okay, so I'm going to say this. Yes, I try to be understanding about when you want to rest. I try. You try. And I've been trying to get better at not being so angry about it. I don't have no time to wait for you to get better with it. I don't have any time like to, yesterday, work, to work through your anger. Yesterday, he calls me. He goes, um, Max isn't feeling well. And so, because he's been kind of sick here and there. And he's like, Max the boy is, has got a lot going on. Max isn't feeling well. Um, he's on the couch laying down. He go, So Vic's like, so I'm laying down too in the bed. He call, he call, We talk. And I go, mm -hmm. okay. And he goes, um, yes, yes. Yes, popcorn, palace, CT. What is in his cup? That is the question, yeah. So, no, grown up. All right, so, so this is the thing. So, he calls me and he tells me this, and I'm on the way home from work. So, I'm like, okay, so, gotta do my small business Tuesdays and all that. So, I get into the room. Now, no, first of all, I come to the driveway. He's parked in the middle of the driveway. There's no way for me to park because in the driveway. I, I was going to football and. It, the boy wasn't feeling well, so you know what? I said, you know, I didn't get a chance to move the car. I'll move the car later. There's plenty of other space for you to park and other ways for you to park. But because... How did I park? You parked like you was, like, coming in to shoot up the joint. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. And stuff like that. <laughs> like, the, the way you rolled up. <laughs> I did. Yeah, the way you rolled I up. I rolled up. I left this much room between his yeah. car and mine. Yeah. I pulled up, like, on the front lawn. Which was unnecessary. Like near all. the front door. I said, you know what? You want to park over there? Okay, cool. I'm going to park yeah. right here. Yeah, which was just... I called him on the phone. I said, 
Why did you park that way? And he goes, oh, when I get up, I'll move the car. Yeah, I go, much. I so go. It's not a big situation. I go like this. When you get up. When you get up. And so then I went into the bedroom and I go, why would you ever park like that? Why would you ever park like that? Because, whoa. Yo, the way he he's parked. in his boxers. Chilling. It was six. It was like 6.15. Chilling. And what was He's in his boxer, boxers laying in bed at 6.15. Chilling. All right. I didn't know what you were watching. You're watching something. I was watching The Sopranos. The Sopranos. Because I'm getting ready for the movie. And he was eating dinner. He was eating dinner without us at 6 15, laying in bed. Chilling. Yes, that's what he was doing yesterday. You goddamn right. Right. And shit, you know? So then I said to him, I go, I said to him, so you have to, you know, move because I have my show that I have to do in the bedroom because my studio, my space, my workspace that we've been creating is still not ready, which is I ain't fine. I have to do shit, but stay black and die. Okay? <laughs> so, listen, I was going to move before the show started. I had that plan. But I, why do why would why do I have to like jump on your when you say it's time when you say it's time to move when I do so much I know the schedule I know how to I support the schedule I back you up on the schedule the studio that you're talking about I had already told you that I was going in at nine o'clock tonight to finish up the final touch it's pretty much done okay okay and which I did so no hold on getting back to what which my I original did. point was about I, you staying up like all night walking around the house and doing things I, which listen, is crazy I can do what I want to you do. said that too you go I'm gonna start the I'm gonna go back in and get stuff done in the studio at nine and I go okay he goes so I'm gonna be in there probably till like 12 one I'm like why don't you just go do it now and then you can go to bed with me we can go to bed at the same time because right now I'm at a point right now where I'm doing things that are that work for me okay. at the same time you know okay, what I'm saying whatever. I'm doing like so it, who are you to control when I need to get it done we sleep together all the time at a certain time but right now I'm working on something to help better you and this is the time that I'm used choosing to do it. I'm not going to let you control it of when I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it based off of my energy level, based off of my schedule, and based off of my responsibility. And if you got a problem with it, or anybody got a pro else got a problem with it, that just sounds like something that y'all got to deal with. Not me. Well, there we go. See, this is the issue. I want to be like Carol. What are you do? I want to be like Carol Brady and Mike Brady. I want to go to bed together. <laughs> <laughs> I want you don't even go to bed with me and together because I fall asleep while you want like your second bowl of popcorn and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, I sleep together. That. I do that. <laughs> you know what I'm we get going? in the bed together. <laughs> we watch TV. And she he, get up and no, she goes to get popcorn. He always and falls that. asleep. He falls asleep. He falls asleep. Okay, he falls asleep. <laughs> and then I normally go on to watch at least one more episode of yes. whatever we're watching. Yes. And then I start with the snacks. Yes. I start with the snacks. You like late couple, night snacks. Couple, couple snacks. I'm popping popcorn. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said... <laughs> One night, one time at three in the morning, she was out on the grill. And they're like, damn. No, I wasn't. I, wasn't. I, was like, oh, I, damn. I said, where are you going to be ribs from? Damn. <laughs> no, 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 no. But the other day, no, it was what? Yesterday morning, I go, oh, I'm not going to eat those Flaming Hot Cheetos anymore. I go, they mess up my stomach. And he goes, when did you eat those? <laughs> and I go, I ate a whole bag last night while you were sleeping. Oh, see what I'm saying? Okay. He's like, you ate a whole bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos? I'm like, yeah. What's going on? Like, you know, like, I'm literally like, uh, I'm a snack fiend lately. Snack fiend. He said to me the day, like, are you pregnant? I go, no. Yeah. I'm just hungry for some reason. You got a lot going on. I got out, I got home. And also, you know, I realized too, when I'm stressed, it triggers it. It does. It does. It does. It does. Not me. I'm a happy person. Because even when I came home tonight, like, I wasn't really stressed, but I was like, you know, I have a lot going on. And me, I ate like literally 65 Cheetos. I mean, cheeses, cheeses. And the dog was eating them too because he loves them, the four cheese. We were like eating the them together. Like I feel you, mama. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh. I feel or, you. The other night when you were like, me and you were bickering and you were like in the back room and stuff, mm. and you had made that rice. You made yeah. the rice and the yeah, chicken. I rice and chicken. Yeah, I yeah. literally I was dishing the, dishing the rice into my mouth. Like, yeah, oh I my God, I hate it. What's going on? I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, I noticed that when I went in there and stuff, you know. But it's okay. I still love you, though. Oh, you love my fried ice cream popcorn? Mm. Fried ice I have a cream really popcorn. big problem with popcorn. It's yeah, like, she really does. It's really, it's bad. Like, the yeah. other day, we were at the football field watching the football game, and I ordered popcorn at the snack stands, and I poured M&Ms in, and I was eating them, and it's like, it's like noon. Like, why are you like, eating that? No them? one here is eating popcorn. 
People I see popcorn M Ms at noon. Why wait, wait, we are supposed to be encouraging these children <laughs> with citrus, like with oranges and yes. apples. Shout out to the Salahini Orchard and stuff. You know, we had we had apples and everything. And here goes Jenny with some damn popcorn yes. and M Ms mixed together and stuff. You know what I mean? All right, hold and on. a cherry coke. Wait, how about this? That you got so mad at me the other day because you go, if you're going to the snack stand, can you get some Gatorade? And I'm yeah. like, sure, I guess so. So when I went to the snack stand, I completely forgot about him. And I came back with all my snacks. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, um, he doesn't even say it. Like, that's, it's annoying. He's like, um. You're not looking. <laughs> and I go, I go, what? And I go, oh, you're a Gatorade. And then he made me walk back to the snack stand. Like, he expected me to go back to the snack stand. The snack it. stand was very far away. I don't know if anybody knows. No, it's not. Knee, yes, I had knee surgery. It wasn't that so far away. It's, it's not that it's, far. It's, it's a little yeah. bit farther from So I had to go back and, and wait, get wait a minute, wait a minute. Plus, I carried all the chairs after my, you know, I know I, I had knee surgery. And I carried the chairs that she was sitting in. From the car, set them up for her, so she was very. It, they were ready for her when she got when she got there. Yes, that, like, that is know. true. So for me to ask for a simple Gatorade, you know, to quench my thirst. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wait. Wait. What was the other thing I did the other day too? You asked me to get you something and I forgot. We were somewhere know. and I Maybe just forgot. It's, it's, it's a numerous thing. It just no, slips my mind. It's like, these, <laughs> it's like these pictures that I'm asking for. I, I can't seem to get pictures. You know, I still have not gotten the pictures from my daughter's graduation <laughs> that my mother is asking to <laughs> see. Thank you. Because my mom keeps asking her, for the, they, the pictures of graduation and I'm like, oh. They are lying on her phone. And Maybe so, I don't want you to yeah, have them. My mother wants to see them. You are denying, Maybe I'm denying my child's yes, grandparents. Yes, you and your mom the, from having the, them. Yeah, you are. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. When all you have to do is hit send. You you wanted to take them with your phone. You wanted to be in charge of I'm that. better at taking pictures. So handle the distribution. Okay, okay? that's Sorry. it. Sorry. It's going on three months. All right. Well, I guess that does it for us because I have to go get Max from football. Yes. For some reason, that's my job now. So. That's her job on Wednesday nights. Because I have to go get Max from football. Ma because I'm taking Never her. mind what I have going on in my life. Yes. Never mind that after she goes to pick up, I'm still going to be up doing things. Oh, how about right. this? Never mind. I went to pick up the, the saxophone today. Congratulations. Never mind. That went and I went, got it. Went never got mind this, that uh, I went and picked him up from school today. And I dropped him off at football. Wait, and I got him ready for football, and I dropped him off at football. Okay, Never got him ready for school that. and dropped him off at school. You Actually, have no argument. I got him ready for school this morning. Okay? Not really. And I, yes, I did. And did his homework, made him a shake, got everything together. All you did was <laughs> drive him in and drop him off. Okay? This is why I love you. <laughs> it is a constant competition. It's a constant competition. Perfect combination. Lois, hello. Thank you for watching. He's asking for a shout out. Gladys, I know. He ain't right. He ain't right. I don't even know how we do it because I guess like every single time we fight, I break up with him in my head. He breaks up. And I think like, okay, I think that I can survive without him. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I go through this whole scenario in my head. And then five minutes later, we're back laughing about yes. it. But most times. He time. holds a bigger grudge than me, though. No. He takes a little longer. Yes, he does. Yeah. Yes, you do. Because I, you know why? I realize that life's too short. It really is. Life's too short. Well, I kind of realized that before you. No, know, but you hold a grudge. You, no, because you, you always hold a grudge. Because, no, it's not a grudge that I hold. It's like, you know, you, you try to take me out of my happiness bubble. And I yes, feel like I'm that, in charge of taking no, you out of your you, happiness you bubble. To, yes. I, I feel like it's an ongoing mission. And so yes, my take, mission is to take, take you out yes, of your happiness absolutely. bubble. You know, because sometimes you're not happy and you're and you're upset and you're miserable about a lot of things. So you want me to be joining your miserable. Yes, I mean, yes, yes. I want you to join my miserableness. You know, yes, so I and 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 I fight it. I, I fight it. Happiness wins. How you do know? you? How do you? <laughs> how do you live like that? How do you every day fight for your happiness? Yeah, like, because, how do you do that? How do you survive how like I that? Know, I wake up every day happy. I, I, I wake up every day. Every day you wake up is a blessing. Anything after that is a bonus. Okay, and I wake up. I, I'm the I'm the person who watches the sunrise in the morning. I watch the sunset. I look at the stars. You know, I, I'm I'm a happy person. Why? I come from a, a very 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 hard life. 
All right. So I'm in my 40s now and I'm enjoying life. And, you know, some people just don't understand, you know, you know what it is. All right. I'm, and that's the end of that. And again, you know, you probably like, did you roll your eyes on that one? I didn't. I oh, fixed okay. my hair. Thank God. It's normally an eye roll. That was, the, that was, the, that was, no, here, let me fix your hair for you. Okay. There you go. I thought it feels good. Yeah, I know it feels good. See? There you go. All, All right. right. Perfect combination. If you did more stuff like that, it'd probably be nicer. I do this every night. Come on now. Stop running. It's not fun. Come on now. You, you come on. Tell the truth. All right. All right. Well, I'm going right. to go now. <laughs> All right. We're going to go now. Love, peace, and happiness. Okay. Bye. Have Bye. a great night. <laughs>